What is going on guys, Mr. Fnatic here, back with another video. Right now it's very early in the morning, and I'm kind of in that state where like, your voice is really low, and you're really tired, and you <laughs> really don't, I, I don't really don't know how to describe it. But uh, hopefully by the end of this video, everything will be good. But today we're going to be talking about some Black Ops 3 information. I really haven't done a video on Black Ops 3 on this channel yet, but... A lot of stuff has gone down, if you didn't know. So, originally, what I wanted to talk about was the teaser trailer, which uh, was pretty much just a bunch of quotes from older Call of Duties. Like, I think they had, they had the Numbers Mason, of course, and they had one from Modern Warfare 2 campaign, and World at War, and then Black Ops 2. And then there was this last quote that no one knew what game it was from, so I think we're all thinking it's from Advanced, Advanced Warfare. It's from Black Ops 3. Also, before I could make that video, which was supposed to be this weekend, a trailer came out Friday, which was yesterday, for me, and it showed... It was kind of a teaser trailer for Sunday, which is whenever the actual game trailer is coming out. It was like... It was all IRL, no, no actual gameplay. And it was talking about how robotics and technology is going to be taking over. Not really taking over, but like we don't need humanity anymore. We need we need people that are like controlled by technology and have like bionics. It's kind of like superhuman stuff. Like like in 2075, I think it was, or 50, 52, whatever it was. They had people like getting injected with stuff to make them like superhuman. If you didn't watch that, go ahead and go watch that. It's on Call of Duty's channel. I didn't really want to make a video on that because there was really nothing to point out except for like that it's happened. So Sunday is whenever the actual reveal trailer is going to be coming out. So I might do a video on that because that's pretty important. But for information right now, no. But we have some more information today. Came out from Charlie Intel. I don't really know who runs Charlie Intel, but it seems like it's always accurate. So, so one of the biggest things that was said was that there's gonna be a beta for the game, and I don't think we've had a beta for a Call of Duty since like World at War. And the main reason that Call of Duty hasn't been releasing betas since like World at War, in my opinion, is because they don't want people to get bored of their game already. <laughs> so, them releasing a beta means that they're pretty confident in their game. So another thing that they mentioned was that there's going to be a different movement system. Now, this doesn't mean that there's going to be EXO jumping or double jumping, which, I mean, everyone else is kind of happy about. I'm not. I actually really like the EXO suit. I know everyone's going to be like, what? How do you like the EXO suit? It's so bad. So my reasoning behind this is the only reason that you wouldn't like the EXO suit is if you're bad. Like, if you have bad movement, you're not going to like the exosuit. But the only way you can be good at movement is pretty much the only way is if you have a scuff. And most most pub players don't really have a scuff unless they're like pub stompers. It wasn't very vivid what they said. They said it, there was going to be like dodging and stuff like, like this, that kind of stuff. Or like that. There's not going to be double jumping. They didn't say that. But it's kind of apparent that they wouldn't put that in. But even without the double jumping, I think the game's still going to be a bit faster than regular normal Call of Duty. Because I really don't think that Call of Duty would just go from an extremely fast-paced to ext an extremely slow-paced game. I know that developers don't usually copy from each other. But whenever there's such a, such a revolutionary idea like this, I think there has to be some sort of take off of every Call of Duty that's going to change the movement system. Because truly, I think if they went back to uh, like regular Call of Duty, no one would really like it. I know everyone would say, no, I want classic Call of Duty back. Unless you really actually never played Advanced Warfare because of how you didn't like the movement system. Like some people didn't play Ghost because of how slow it was. And now people aren't playing Advanced Warfare because of how fast it was. Like, unless you didn't play Advanced Warfare, you would be pretty disappointed if you went back to original Call of Duty. I would, at least. 
So hopefully we can get some sort of faster paced game rather than just like super slow paced old Call of Duty Ghost kind of feel. Black Ops 2 was was regular Call of Duty and that was pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give props props to Treyarch. So if they can make a game without double jumping just as fast as a game with double jumping, I will be very satisfied. Because that's really all I care about is how fast the game is. I mean, I do like double jumping. It's a cool, like, thought. But some people don't like it. And if they take it out, I won't be that mad. So I need to find a way to... But, you know, I'll get used to it. Also, I want to talk about how <clears throat> people are saying that they don't like this game. You'll see people that do YouTube and haven't played Call of Duty Ghost or Advanced Warfare. And just played Black Ops 2 the entire two years just because they didn't like the two games and I think that if if Black Ops 2 can make a Black Ops 3 sorry if Black Ops 3 can make a fast pace game with a scent of exo abilities like you know boost boost dodging and stuff like that and they don't have a double jump I'll be very satisfied it's gonna be a great game I can already tell because Black Ops 2 while the game was out, no one really liked it. Everyone actually hated the game. They said, I can't wait till Call of Duty Ghost. But whenever Call of Duty Ghost came out, that lowered the standards of the Call of Duty players from, like, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and used to, like, really good Call of Duties from Black Ops 2 that was an okay COD. So whenever Ghost came out, they were like, whoa, Black Ops 2 was an amazing game. I forgot. So whenever Advanced Warfare came out, which I thought... It was one of my favorite Call of Duties. I don't know about you guys, but this was one of my favorite Call of Duty games just because of the competitive side and all the movement. And I think it's just really innovative. But if Black Ops 3 can make a game that's better than Black Ops 2 with people's standards lowered, that'll jumpstart the Call of Duty franchise and be it'll just make everyone happy. And every Call of Duty from then on is going to be a lot better and better and better, hopefully. And uh, hopefully the franchise doesn't die anytime soon. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.